What's up, guys? What's going on? I'm Paul. This is Pauline Theologies. I'm back, man. We're on James chapter 5, verse 12. Only one verse today, guys. Not much, man. But in it is a true thing that's kind of like hit me a lot um, in my life. Just just this this fact here. And this is what Jesus says. So James is strictly and specifically taking these from the words of Jesus. And so uh, it's something that I have to, to live by. And it's a difficult thing. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. James chapter 5, verse 12. If you haven't read it, go ahead and stop the tape, read it. And if you have, let's go into it. What is James saying? He says, just say yes. Be Be a truthful person. It's like, if you say yes, then everybody should believe you because of your character. And if you say no, everybody should believe you of your character. And so I think this has a lot of implications to it. It, it means that be careful with your words. And we have seen that James speaks specifically about words at length, talking about um, that uh, people say one thing, do another. And people say one thing about one person, then another thing about another person. It's like, how can two different things come from the mouth? I was talking about teaching that when you teach, man, the words that you say are important and they need to be carefully gone over. And so this here, man, is just a an epitome. It says above all. And so this might be speaking about the, the, the letter as a whole because we're about to come to an end. But he's saying like all, all the culmination of all I've said, he says, this is how you should act. And it is the truth of your heart, too. It's because when you say yes, you mean it. There's no deterring. You don't have to to put it on your mama, man, or anything like that, man. It's just when you say yes, you say yes. And when you say no, you say no. He says, don't swear, don't swear oaths by anything, by heaven or earth or any other oath. It's just let your yes be yes and your no be yo. So what is this saying about God? Well, this mirrors the the very vision that Jesus spoke um, on the Sermon on the Mount. He says that you you don't own heaven. You don't own own earth. You can't swear by yourself either because you can't change any kind of hair on your head. You don't know your life. And that's what James says. You don't know how long you live. You You don't know your life. And so God is in control. First off, he is the owner of all things, not us. It's only been given to us. But also, I think that the fact that it says that uh, you will come under condemnation when you do these things. It's like God condemns a liar. And I know oftentimes we talk about all these quote unquote huge sins, man. We're like, oh man, this is these are bad, bad sins. But here, James makes it clear that it is liars, people who speak falsely, who make oaths then break them. This is bad. This is wrong. And you will fall under condemnation for it. And so that's that to think that's important for us to recognize about who God's character is, is that he is a truth speaker. He is absolute truth. And we are to mirror him. What does it say about man is that we should be trustworthy as as people of God, as the children of God, as Christians. When we say so, that we're going to do something, it should be no question about it. They're like, oh, yeah, that brother will do it. That sister will do it. Because they know that when we say yes, it means yes. And when we say no, it means no. But it also means that we need to not be absolute yes people or absolute no people. Like, I mean, I guess absolute no people is a little bit easy to do because you ain't ever got to do nothing. But I think sometimes we have the desire to help so many people that we want to say yes to everything. And when we say yes to everything, we end up making out to be liars because we just don't have enough time to be able to do those things. And so to be trustworthy means that when we say yes, that uh, we need to do it. But it also means that we need to say no at some points in time. And so that brings me to the application, man. It's just, is it's how is your, how is your yes and no life? How is your trustworthy life? Are people looking at you and be like, I could trust that brother. He, is going, he says he's going to do something. He'll do it. She says she'll be there. She'll be there. Or are we fickle people? Let our yes be our yes because we do not want to come into condemnation for this. I thank you guys for listening and I will see you in the, the next episode.